Right, right. Right. Um, now for the Games and Wildlife Learner of the Year, kindly sponsored by George Linton Memorial Trust in the North Highland College. And for this, uh, I'm pleased to announce that Rosemary Brown would like to come up and present an award. Give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> And this is also for the George Linton Trophy. So, the nominations are just one. Uh, we have Joshua Bunton. There he is there. Uh, employed by Abercairney Estate and is studying a national certificate in gamekeeping. Joshua has gained significant practical experience of mixed sporting interest on a work placement. He goes on to say, I have furthered my education through the varied nature of the work you undertake at Abercairney Estate. Is with a, a rabbit in his shoulder. <laughs> the winner is Joshua. Right, moving on. Well done, well done. Now on to Horticultural Learner of the Year, kindly sponsored by Premier One Land Services, John Owens, and <laughs> uh, the nominations are uh, Ryan Mooney, nominated by North Lanarkshire Council, and he's studying an SVQ Level 2 of, of Amenity Horticulture. Ryan has shown amazing focus in his, on his career. He is willing to tackle all new skills and theories and is not afraid to ask questions. Next we have Daryl Russell, nominated by North Lancashire Council, is studying an SVQ Level 3 in Horticulture. It says here, uh, Daryl says, I know without a doubt that this is the career for me. I will strive to be the best in all aspects of my life. <laughs> Stealing some flowers. Yeah. <laughs> I'll now ask uh, the winners, please, John. The Horticultural Award. The winner is Daryl Russell. Hey. Right, now moving swiftly on to Trees and Timber, Learner of the Year. I'm a lumberjack. Anyway. <laughs> it's strange, I've got two who keep me in order. <laughs> Not unusual, by the way. You need to be very quiet. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, 
This is kindly sponsored by the Forestry Commission of Scotland. Uh, the nominations are uh, Karina Quinveray, nominated by Forestry Commission Scotland and employed by Forestry Commission. Uh, her commitment to the work and learning she has undertaken has been ex exemplary standard and she is a role model for other apprentices. Then we have Eamon Stanton. I apologise for the pronunciation of the names, by the way. Um, I hope I'm, I'm covering it. Uh, she says, I am driven by my genuine interest in what I do, and it has led me to unbelievable experiences with amazing people. I tell you, kids nowadays, you know. <laughs> she does have a chainsaw. <laughs> and I'll ask uh, John to uh, read out the winners, please. Trees and Timbers Award. The winner is Eamon Sponter. Uh, Eamon can't be here tonight, so I believe there's uh, a relative, is it Bridget Staunton here to uh, collect the award? <coughs> or would somebody like to come up? Yes, give her a round of applause. <laughs> well done. Eamon's currently filming in LA right now, but he <laughs> sent this video earlier on. <laughs> As they also, as you will see, the runner-up award is sponsored by Rural Development Initiatives. The runner-up runner -up is Karina Quandry. Well done, well done. <laughs> uh, we now move on to the Endeavour Awards, kindly sponsored by Algo Blagauri and Tapak Potatoes. So could I uh, call upon uh, both Peter Alexander and uh, Russell Taylor to come up and present these awards, please. Well, just bring everyone, come on. There's two awards from Algo and there's one award from TAPAC. So there's no nominations, but we'll just get John to shout out the names of the two winners of the Algo Endeavour Awards. Everyone clear? <laughs> no. Yes, I understand. It. <laughs> right, I, understand it. I don't have a clue what's going on. Endeavour Awards, <laughs> Algo Gowdy, Riga Burgess, <clears throat> and Eva Schubert. For those that don't know, the uh, lady in orange is Riga, and the uh, <laughs> one in the black is Eve.
A background of boys there for Ria and you. Now on to the, for the tea pack potatoes, I'd like to welcome Russell and George Taylor. Racing on now for the Higher Education Learner of the Year, kindly sponsored by SEC. We've got Graham Dunlop, nominated by North Highland College. There he is there. Brian Ayow. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> he's employed by Codder Estate and is currently studying an HNC at gamekeeping with wildlife management. Graham said, I have demonstrated my ability to excel in both the academic and practical sides of the field sports industry. Then we have, uh, apologies for pronunciation, uh, Zane Pretorius, nominated by Barney College and is employed by Glen Ken's Fish Farm. Zane has shown great dedication to learning whilst holding down employment. Uh, he then went to say the academic skills and experience I have gained have helped me tremendously and will continue to do so when I progress to further education. So can I have the, the winner please, John? Higher Education Award. The winner is Zane Pertorius. <laughs> Moving on to the Modern Apprentice of the Year. Kindly sponsored by Barney College, Elmwood College and Oatridge College. And uh, the nominations are uh, Stuart Burns, nominated by North Lancashire Council. It says here, finding a young man is committed to furthering his career both practically and academically is rare. Stuart says, I will endeavour to fill my potential both personally and professionally with whatever it takes. That's commitment. There's only one nomination. No wonder we're full like that. Let's get the name right then. 
the Defenders Award, winner is Stuart Bond. And now, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> on to a, a new award, the Caras Scotland Awards, sponsored by Caras Scotland. And for this, uh, could I call upon uh, Peter Alexander to come back to the stage, who I think is going to tell us a little bit more about this award. again, Mr Chairman. Tonight I wear two hats. I think I'll wear my specs as well. <laughs> my Lantra hat as Chairman of the Judging Panel and my Caris hat. The Caris is a Council for Awards of the Royal Agricultural Societies. The objective is to recognise through an awards scheme distinguished achievement in agriculture and related land-based industries. Members are identified with others who have demonstrated excellence in achievement. A distinctive group with much to contribute to the future development of UK agriculture and associated industries. There must be a link with Lantra there somewhere, I think. The decision was taken last year by the panel representing Paris and Scotland that we should raise money from our fellowship to give awards to encourage young people in our industries. I have experience in trying to raise cash from the farming industry, but trying to get money from academics, well, that's something else and not for the faint-hearted. However, we did raise enough to provide awards this year and for many years in the future. For that, I am very grateful. We took the opportunity to combine our presentation with the Lantra Awards scheme. This linked ideally with what we wanted to achieve. Thanks, Willie Ferguson, Mary Mitchell, <coughs> Kelly Kirk for their continued support and hospitality. I would now like to introduce Mr. Ray Jones Retiring Chief Executive of the Highland Society and Honorary Secretary of our Fellowship to come forward, please, and present the award for the new Caris Award at the Lantra Learner of the Year Awards. Caris Scotland Awards. Winner is Zane Petorius. Thank you. 
Natalie is a kind of Scotland Award. We have Fraser Mitchell. Thanks again to Peter Alexander and Ray Jones, and well done again to the winners. Right, we're on the home straight now. Okay, now we have the overall runner-up, Lantra Land-Based and Aquaculture Learner of the Year 2010. And the winner is... Oh, the runner-up, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the runner -up, sorry.